do the same thing. Seriously, you do. If you ever look at the nutritional facts on the back of a bottle of juice, you'd see a lot of them aren't that different from just drinking soda. And that goes against everything we're taught. I mean, we grow up knowing that juice is good for us and that juice is better than soda and that it's a more healthy option. But really, is it? A lot of the juices we buy at the store are made from concentrates or they're made with artificial flavoring or even the ones that say they're 100% fruit juice. At the end, the whole point of the f that you're just getting the juice is what's wrong with them. There's nothing substantial in juice that makes it healthy for you anymore. Seriously, go into your fridge and pull out whatever bottle of juice you have. Look at your apple juice, look at your orange juice, look at your grape juice, whatever you have. Check it out. Actually, look at the nutritional facts. How much sugar is in that bottle of juice? And then look at a two liter of Coke. How much sugar is in that? They're pretty darn close. And don't tell me that you're getting more vitamins with your fruit juices and you're getting this with them and you're getting this with them because yeah, while you might be getting a very minimal boost to those essential vitamins, pretty much the most important parts of the fruits have been long gone. And I'm not saying that drinking fruit juice is bad for you or that you should never do it. I'm just saying you really need to be aware that it's not as healthy as you think it is and there is a ton of sugar in fruit juice. I mean, there's a ton of sugar in fruits in general, but why is it okay to eat the fruits but the fruit juice isn't so good for you? It's because the juice is just one small part of the fruit and it's all the other components mixed in with the sugar from the juice that give you the true nutritional value. Just drinking the juice and fruit is like just eating the residue that cooks off of steaks. You're losing all the good stuff. I mean, let's look at an example. Take this fruit juice that I got from the store. It's your traditional mixed berry blend. You got some raspberry, you got a little bit of apple, some blueberries, and it's quoted as saying 100% real fruit juice. It looks good, it tastes good, and you think, this is good for me, this is healthy. This is a ton of sugar, and that might go against your logic. You might think, but it's fruit juice, so it's okay, it's good sugar. But you know what makes sugar good in fruits? Everything else that doesn't get put in. This is pretty much the exact same thing as this, only this one I made in a blender, this one I bought in a store. The first thing you're gonna notice is the color difference. Obviously, they use artificial coloring to make this one look prettier because it has to sit on shelves for a couple weeks, so a month or two at a time. This one has a little bit of fizz at the top. I put too much water in and it got aerated. Ignore the fizz, it still tastes delicious. But is there anything else you notice about these? Look how smooth and clean this one is and consistent. Look at this one. There are a lot of little particles in this thing. You have the pulp, you have the fiber, you have the skin of the berry, you have the little specks of banana. See, that's the stuff that you don't get in these. And that's the stuff that makes the sugar okay. This little thing boasts seven different juices. And I'm not saying it's a liar, it probably does have seven juices in it. But that's the problem. That's all it has. It's just juice. There is nothing else in here. There's nothing in here the body really wants. It's liquid sugar. Because that's all what fruit juice is, is it's sugar. And if you take everything else out of the fruit and just leave the sugar, well, what's healthy about it anymore? See, when you just drink fruit juice, all of that sugar gets absorbed into your body. When you eat an apple, your body takes some of the sugar from that juice and uses it to digest the fiber and the rest of the skin in your apple. So your body takes energy to digest things. And if you're just drinking the liquid, the juice of an item, it doesn't really have to work hard because there's nothing to digest. It just absorbs everything that is in that juice. Therefore, it's not really that good for you. Your body needs the complexity. It needs to break something down. It needs to use that energy that it's getting. And you're just not gonna get that with the typical fruit juice at the store. So again, I'm not bashing all fruit juice and I'm not saying you should never drink it, but really it should be something that you do in moderation. I mean, if you're cutting back sweets and sugars everywhere else, why is juice suddenly okay when it has more sugar? And again, don't let the whole, it's natural, it comes from fruits fool you. You look at the ingredients on any of these juices and the fact that they are more than 
three ingredients right there should be throwing up the red flag. Especially juices that are made from concentrate, which the majority of them are. And I'm not saying concentrate is bad, I'm just saying that when juices are made from concentrate, they have been stripped from the fruit that they came from so much that they're just little packets of sugar that then people throw more water into to kind of dilute them and make them liquid again. And you're drinking sugar water. It's, it's sugar water with artificial flavoring to make it taste like it did if you bit into the real actual fruit. So enjoy your glass of juice. Just remember, maybe it's not as good for you as you think it is. And if you do want a healthier alternative, if you do want to continue to drink juice, but you don't want all of that sugar to just streamline right into your body, think about making your own. Get out a blender, buy the different fruits that you want yourself, just mix it with eight to 10 ounces of water, or I like to use green tea. I also like to throw in two handfuls of raw spinach. It helps thicken it up and kind of also sneaks in an extra serving of vegetables, but that's just me. And you really can't taste it because raspberries hide everything. But blend it yourself. Make your own juices and fruit smoothies. Another perk of making your own fruit juice is that you know exactly what's in it. There is no artificial flavoring. There are no preservatives. There isn't anything fake in it. There's just real ingredients all blended together for a perfect drink. And I am not saying to buy a juicer. I am saying a blender. Make your own juices or smoothies with a blender. Juicers, I think, just add on to the problem because then at home, you're literally just throwing away half of the product to get that little bit of sweet, sugary juice. If you ever have to use a juicer, you get that little tiny cup of juice, but then you open up the filter to clean it out and that's where you get all of the fruit rinds, the residue, the pulp, just that's the good stuff. That's what you want in your body. And I know it sounds like this entire episode, I am just bashing on juice, which, okay, yes, I guess technically I am. But it's because I just hate that we make all of these sacrifices and we give up sweets and we give up desserts and we give up breads, but juice gets a free pass. When juice has more sugar than all of them. And it has it because it's been stripped away from the actual source, which is real food. But moving on to this week's measurements. This week, my chest measured at 41.5 inches, my waist measured at 36 inches, and my hip measured at 47.5 inches, and I weigh 200.5 pounds. We're still working on that patio in the backyard, which means that this week I have been doing a lot more strength training and dead weight lifting, and my cardio is kind of taking a back seat, but overall I think I'm doing all right. It's still pretty solid. I think the inches aren't coming off as quick as they are because the whole not doing as much cardio, and I'm more building muscles than shedding fat, which is okay. But other than that, nothing really to report. I think things are going pretty well. But guys, if you have any stories about fruit juice or if you have an opinion on the matter, let me know. Leave a comment below and if you like this video, give that like button a try. And if you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye! Oh, one more thing about juice. You can give it to your kids. It's fine. Kids know how to process the sugar. They need it for their body. This is strictly for adults. Adults, you don't need to be drinking juice. If you want to, you can. Just know that it's more of a beverage of choice, not a beverage of health. But kids, kids get juice. Make sure your kids drink their juice. Okay, I'm out.